I'm Steve Nelson. Throughout my career as a prosecutor, I've been an advocate for children. I'm running for Salt Lake County District Attorney because I believe the District Attorney's Office is failing drug-endangered children. A drug-endangered child is a child who is at risk of physical harm because their parents, caregivers, or other adults around them are abusing or distributing controlled substances. All of us understand and can appreciate the well-documented health dangers of exposing children to drugs. None of us wants to see a single child suffer from the harmful effects of drugs. And the effects go beyond health reasons. For example, more children are being raised by grandparents today, and one of the primary reasons is the drug addiction of their parents. When I started prosecuting drug cases, I came to understand and better appreciate the devastating effects that drugs have on children and their families. One of my very first drug endangered children cases happened in this apartment complex, not far from the campus of the University of Utah. What started out as a routine drug search warrant turned into something that I will never forget. When the police officers serving this warrant entered the apartment, they found five adults using crack cocaine in the front room. The officers located behind a locked bedroom door behind these adults, a young girl trapped in a playpen with a door on top of her and heavy milk crates designed to keep her inside. As this little girl stared through the mesh of the playpen at these officers, she was as much a prisoner to the adults' drug abuse as they were. This little girl was developmentally delayed. She couldn't speak or walk like she should at that age. The adults in this apartment were more concerned about their next high than they were about the health, welfare, and safety of this little girl. Because of that case, I decided to dedicate myself to protecting drug-endangered children. I became involved with the Salt Lake City Police Department's COPS Methamphetamine Initiative, and I became a leader in the National Alliance for Drug-Endangered Children. I've prosecuted scores of drug endangerment cases across Salt Lake County, and I'm a nationally recognized expert in drug-endangered children having spoken and presented at conferences all across the United States. I believe that Salt Lake County is lagging behind the rest of the country in terms of our response to the problem of drug endangered children. The current administration of the District Attorney's Office eliminated the District Attorney's Office's drug team and elected to move drug cases into a court system where quick resolutions are more important than addressing the underlying problem. We currently have no coordinated response to protecting drug-endangered children, no formal training for first responders who rescue drug-endangered children, and no systematic method of holding drug dealers accountable for endangering children in Salt Lake County. When I am elected district attorney, Salt Lake County will be a leader in the effort to protect drug-endangered children. Under my administration, Salt Lake County will have a coalition of stakeholders, prosecutors, police officers, child protection workers and medical professionals who work collaboratively and together to protect drug endangered children. We all know that children are Salt Lake County's most precious resource. It's time the district attorney's office did more to protect them. I'm Steve Nelson and I'm running for district attorney because I am an advocate for children.